Hello everybody, welcome back to American Truck Simulator once again. Today we are doing some fleet driving here with the Covenant Freightliner Cascadia. It's got Creech Bomb's awesome Detroit Diesel 15 engine sound set in it. Uh, and we're rocking 455 horsepower. Let's fire it up so you can hear it. All right, well, happy Monday to all of you. Hopefully you had a great weekend and you're ready to get this week off to a good start. We're gonna put this thing into drive. We have a Detroit uh, 12 speed in this thing and it's an automatic transmission. Transmission? Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> uh, we're picking up at UPS right behind us. We're in Billings, Montana, and I believe we're going to Glendive or something like that. Uh, anywho, it's someplace I've never been in Montana yet, so that'll be a lot of fun. And we're clear out there, sweet. It's good to have a accurate engine in one of these fleet trucks, man. It makes such a difference. This is a freeware sound set. It's the Creech Bomb sound pack. Uh, I think it's like version 4.1 or 2 or whatever it's on now. A big thanks to Thrustmaster for sponsoring the American Truck Sim videos. I've got the TGT2, and then I've got ATSAccessories.com hooking me up there with the Patriot XL. Uh, also, the required uh, adapter right here so I can mount an actual SCI wheel on it. That's what we got rocking here. Everybody coming from the right? We're good? Yep. Literally just going around the corner here. No big deal. Get ready to turn right. You got it. Turning turn right. Right. We got the astronaut here in our fleet truck, of course. Why wouldn't we? Let's turn into here. So at least we'll have two backings we get to do today uh, since it's a shorter run. All right, open up. Thank you very much. Also, huge thanks to Next Level Racing uh, for sponsoring the uh, GT Elite we're using here is the, the rig that I use. All right, we're gonna pull up here. We're gonna talk to UPS and go, hey, well, what are we uh, doing here? I think it's like office supplies or something like that. You have arrived I'm pretty sure. All right, let's go talk to them. We'll see what's up. And here's the run. Billings to Glendive, Montana. 36,982 pounds of office supply, so I was correct. And it's going out to ADM for whatever reason, but we'll take the job. All right, we released our parking brake. Let's turn our four ways on. We're in the yard, and we're picking up here on the left, it looks like. So, should be back here in the corner, I think. Let's roll the windows down so you can listen to this Detroit engine. It's so good, man. Yep, right there. That's where we're gonna be. Okay, this isn't bad. I'm gonna swing around this way and then up here to the left and we're gonna be in a good spot. That's literally right there in front of us where we were just parked at the, uh, at the truck stop. There we go. That's more than enough room there. So having a look from the outside view, you can see we're in a pretty good spot. We just got to follow the trailer back and get over there to the, uh, the wall. That's where uh, we're picking up. All right, reverse this thing. I think we just follow it back from here, actually. It doesn't need a whole lot of turn to it. Nope, not at all. Keep following it back like that. Move a little bit harder here. There we go. You can see where it's at now. There's the lines right there. Gonna follow it on back. Sweet. Yeah, hopefully you guys had a great weekend. I sure did. Had a lot of fun. I went to Top Golf again. I've been really enjoying Top Golf lately. Uh, I'm not huge into golf myself, uh, but I'm starting to actually. Oh, jibber jabbering. Pull up a little bit to the right here. Uh, but I'm starting to like it more and more. So. Let me know if you guys do some golfing. It always seemed like something I would get into later in my life, but now I'm starting to enjoy it. Uh, at least the driving range aspect of it. I'm getting better at it. All right, a little bit further back. There we go. Like a true fleet driver, we're just absolutely screwing up the backing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know, we get a lot of the, the super truckers. I wonder if they let us hit the dock on this one. Let's see. 
that, that love to nitpick it. Yeah, they do. Sweet. We hit the dock just like that. Awesome. Kill the engine here and uh, we'll let them load it up. Loading cargo through the morning. Looks like we're going to get out of here at a decent time. 9.40 a.m. Uh, cargo's been loaded. We're going to go ahead and pull up and then we'll do a pre-trip. Let's fire the engine up. Ah, oh, sounds so good. I know it's a little loud for, uh, you know, a fleet truck, but I have my engine sounds cranked so you can hear them because it does sound awesome. All right. Confirm. We got the trailer. Yep. Got to make sure nobody messed with our our lines or anything while, uh, you know, we were down and out. Yeah, we'll pull up here to the right and it'll be a perfect spot. We can do our pre-trip and to do my pre-trip, I will be using the console so you can enable the dev console. If you Google it, you'll be able to find it, um, but you can enable the dev console and that allows you to fly around with a camera and you hit the zero key on the keyboard and then you can fly around with the mouse. You use the mouse wheel, to the scroll wheel. Uh, to go faster and slower and then uh, use the numpad keys to move around. So that's what we're going to be doing. If you were wondering, all right, starting at the front, we can see we have working headlights. Looks like our indicators are working. We've got all the orange lights on the top there. Nothing is cracked and broken. Moving around this side, we can see the tread is all good. The mirrors are fine. All down the side, everything's good here. We got lights on the trailer. Nothing's cracked or broken there. We've got good tread on that guy. Back here, we've got the airlines all hooked up where they should be. That looks good there. Awesome. Moving down the line here, we can see the landing gear here is up and it's stowed. Looking under here, we can see that the fifth wheel is locked and it is. There it is. Back around this way and continue down the side of the uh, truck. All the lights are working as they should. Here's the trailer tires. They're all fine and they've got good tread on them. Look at the back of the trailer. We can see we have working lights. And all the lights on the top are fine. They're not cracked or broken. Moving around on this side, we can see we've got good tread here. We kind of look underneath here, make sure that the tandems aren't going to move on us or anything. And they won't because it's America Truck Sim. So a lot of it's obsolete, but it's just fun to RP it, you know? Looking under here. Yep, it all looks good. Awesome. Moving back around this way, we can see everything here is in order. We've got working lights there. And the tread here on the front of the truck is good as well. And there you go. Our pre-trip is complete. All right, let's get going. Push the brakes in so we can listen to the sound. Go away, put it into drive. Release those brakes and we're on our way. I've been subtly turning down the torque. So, you know, the visual torque that you see. That way uh, it doesn't move around too much. And also messing with the truck stability, uh, the stiffness of it. You get a more realistic kind of feel out of it, you know? All right, Mr. Astronaut, you ready? I think they're ready. Yes, I'm pretty positive they're ready. Over the weekend, had some good times. Uh, did uh, some updating to everything on OCRP. We got a bunch of new scripts in there. I added some mini games. There's a uh, mod group out there called R-Core, and they're the ones who make our CCTV camera ones they uh they have mini games that are bowling and then pool and then darts so i've added all that to ocrp now so gives people something to do when they go to the yellow jack you know while they're waiting for rp to happen and whatnot but the bowling was a lot of fun honestly all right no mickey d's today we're not in a car plus we already ate today we're good and then turn right okay goodbye flying j it's been fun turn right Turn right. There we go. I got my brake intensity turned down as well. So it doesn't just stop on a dime now, you know? Okay, back around this way. It's a tight turn there for that trailer. Uh, that was fine. And now we're going to hop on the highway here. Going east on Interstate 90. And then turn it's got an engine brake in it, too. Turn left. You know, not the loud uh, Jacobs brakes that we're used to by any means, but still not too shabby. 
Yeah, we've been doing so many custom trucks and Peterbilts and things like that. I figured we get back to doing some uh, ATS routes, which is fleet driving, you know. And uh, I do love to pick a company and do that. And if you have a suggestion for a company you would like to see uh, as a fleet truck in an episode, let me know in the comments below. I love reading those comments, you know. Try to respond to as many as I possibly can. A huge thanks to you guys for showing love and support to the LSPDFR series. I've been having a blast with it. It's been good. Uh, but man, there is so many mods you run in the background. It's crazy. And then all the key bindings you got to mess with. It's a lot. You'll notice uh, my legs will be moving around on me. That's the motion platform V3 by Next Level Racing. So I do feel motion in the seat when we're moving around here. So if I go like this, it rocks me back and forth. All right, let's get on the highway here. We got the 2022 package on the Cascadia today. So the new gauges and it has the 2022 aero package. Hello, Mr. Bus. I'm getting on the highway, dude. Thank you. You got to force your way on the highway still in ATS. It's just a thing. You get used to it though, you know? You do, you do. So east towards Bismarck. Here on Interstate 94. So 90 goes that way. We're on 94 out to Glen, Glendive. A beautiful day to do some trucking. I know I don't have the uh, insane traffic on. I'm still getting these stutters, man. I don't know what's causing it. I've increased my uh, my memory, the you know the buffer pool and all that stuff. I've done all the tricks I can think of. Although some people told me to check out the NVIDIA, not Inspector, but there's another one. I forget, but it was ATS Modding. Uh, that channel is the one who was telling me about that. If you haven't checked out ATS Modding, I'll, I'll put a link in the description below. Go check them out. Makes good America Truck Sim content. He was trucking away a few days ago when I was in his stream. I think it's NVIDIA, uh, not Inspector. It's it's one of those things. Hard to say which one it is. But it is driving me crazy. I Trust me. I want to fix just as much as you do. And it could be Project Next Gen or something, or JBX doing it, but I don't know, man. Seems like something stupid in the background doing it. Boy, I really like this sound set. Creech Bomb makes some great sounds, man. That's the thing, you know, I love my Z mods. I just love the sound of those things. And uh, Z's an awesome person. And I love supporting them. Uh, but Creech Bomb makes great sounds too when they're free. You can't go wrong with that. In my opinion, SCS needs to hire one of those guys. They really do. Especially Creech Bomb. Could you imagine if the default trucks sounded like this? Holy moly, that'd be good. See, I don't have to move my head around so much with Track IR. That's how I look around freely as Track IR. I don't have to move my head around so much because we have no smears today. Look at that. All right, little car. Way station next right closed. Okay. Well, we don't have to pull in. That's cool. I'm not going to be upset about that, you know. I think the Montana DLC kind of got uh, shadowed a little bit since the Texas release because, man... I was very impressed with the Montana DLC, and I didn't get to play uh, that much of it. So we're, we're going to be exploring this for a little while as well as Texas. 
that something city there. Miles City or something. Well, we've done something to anger this game because, man, I'll tell you what, I've never had uh, the stutters that I've been having. Now, keep in mind, I don't have a 30 series card in here. Like, I'm running JBX graphics, Project Next Gen, you know, a bunch of mods. Um, this particular machine here that I'm using to run ATS is my rig. I moved my 2080 Super out of my old PC into here. So it never got a 30 series card and maybe that would help out, I don't know. I'm not really sure. And sometimes it's good, sometimes it isn't. But Texas has been the worst for me as far as the stuttering goes. So fun times ahead this weekend. I'm flying out. I'm going down to Orlando, obviously, but uh, not obviously, but I'm going to Orlando and then I'm going to Daytona for the 24 hour race there. The Rolex 24 is happening. Uh, Ryan, Siv Ryan's flying down to Orlando and uh, myself, uh, Ryan and Bugs are going to go watch the 24 hour race up there. That's going to be a good time. So I'll be doing that this weekend. Exit 139. I'm sure I'm going to get asked questions. Jeff, are you going to vlog it and whatnot? I don't think so. I think I'm just going to go enjoy it and have fun. When you're carrying a camera around with you, having to get content, it, it really does detract from the whole thing. And it's a 24 hour race. So it's going to be a lot going on. Now we're starting to get up to speed here, about 70 miles an hour. We can set our cruise control here right at 70. We're fine on fuel. See, after we get out of the cities, we uh, things start to smooth out in the game. Now, SCS did come out and say that they're working on an engine upgrade for Prism 3D. Prism 3D is the engine that they've been running since forever. You know, Holland, AT Wheels of Steel, all that stuff. And that's going to be amazing to get a huge upgrade with that. They're going to work on anti-aliasing, performance, you name it. Because the more, you know, we have gone on with American Truck Sim, they've been adding a lot more assets. You know, the, the roads are much more detailed. The cities are. And it's a lot more taxing than you would think this on an aging system or an aging uh, gaming engine so prism 3d is supposed to get an upgrade this year so let's let's hope that is the case i think that would be amazing yellowstone river oh it's up pretty high we're supposed to get some snow tomorrow here in st louis that snowstorm is going to be sweeping through the nation and we're supposed to get some of that so we'll see how it goes. Come off the cruise control here for a second. Kind of roll behind this guy because we're already to Glendive. It's a shorter run today, but, you know, we got a pick up and then we're going to have a drop. So it all works out. The last couple uh, American Trucks and videos have been pretty long. We're going to ADM, so it's out in the middle of nowhere. So we'll just say ADM... You know, they, they're ordering some new office supplies for their offices there. And even though it's in a remote location. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it'll be downtown Glendive, it looks like. For RP purposes, I wasn't really sure what we had going on there. Uh, Thrustmaster, they released their new direct drive wheel, the T818. Right. And then exit right. I'll uh, be checking that out sooner than later. And it's probably going to be the new the new rig. Now, exit I've never right. used a direct drive wheel before, so I'm excited for that. Get ready to turn right. You got it. 
Sydney and Canada to the left. Glen Dive to the right. Turn right. And engine brake works pretty good. Here, I'm going to roll my windows down so we can listen to this amazing engine sound set. Brontosaurus, like the Sinclair. Keep right. That's and amazing. Right. Turn right. Yep, we're turning right, don't worry. And this is our turn right, right up here. Or the railroad tracks today. Okay, we're dropping off right in front of us here, so get our four ways on. We have arrived at your destination. Yes, we have. And it's on the right. Oh, I think this is the one that's where that guy is. I've done this one many times. The best approach for this one is just go down and then turn left and set up that way. That way we're not blind in it. Well, you can't blind it anyway, I don't think. Right back there, yep, you can see the lines. Kind of go out like a teardrop here. All right, let's exercise goal. We'll go talk to the person around here, make sure that's where they want the trailer, and we'll uh, check out the spot they want us to back into. Hey, man, just to the left, is that okay right there? Oh, yeah, that'd be fine. Awesome. Yep, this is the spot they want the trailer, right here between all these crates, and you can see we're pretty much already lined up for it, so straight back we go. All right, push our brakes in. We can see right where we got to go here. Keep the trailer just to the side of that forklift, and it'll be good. It's a little bit more this way straight back from there yep I can see the lines back there too so this is the best way I have found to drop at this spot yeah we just kind of just slowly bring the trailer back doesn't have to be crazy because if you swing it too far you're gonna find the nose hitting something on the right over here usually they have a forklift right there but they don't have it there today which is kind of cool Now, once those tandems are on that line, we start turning the trailer like that. It's like coming on back with it. Might have cut it a little too hard there, but we can fix it. It's like that. Or this way. There we go. About right there. Now we can straighten the tractor out. That looks pretty good. Yep, they're happy with it right there. Awesome. That wasn't too bad. Not at all. Kill that. Kill the engine. And uh, now they're going to unload it. And we'll see what we got. Got an excellent 175 miles. Took four hours, 46 minutes. 29.3 gallons of fuel consumed. We're a little ahead of schedule here on the video, so what we're going to do is go ahead and take another run. Glen Dive to Sydney, Montana. So a little bit further down the road, not far at all. Fertilizer, 31,680 pounds of it. Cargo's been loaded. Let's go ahead and fire up the engine. Let's do a quick uh, free trip before we get out of here. I'm not going to make you guys sit through that. We already did it once. Uh, we're expecting rain on this trip, though. So be ready for that. We'll roll our windows up. There we go. You see, the sky's already starting to turn on us a little bit here for the rain. And yeah, it'll be a short run to another town I haven't been to yet, so that'll be cool. Keep pulling out this way. 
straighten the trailer out. Yeah, I really want us to be able to get out and walk the truck. That'd be so amazing, obviously, but apart from that, I would really love the ability to move those tandems, man. That'd be so cool. All right, pre-trip is complete. You can see we got some uh, puffy clouds behind us, but we got rain in front of us headed our way. All right, let's get going. Turn our four ways off. There we go. So I had another, uh, it's been happening recently a lot, actually. When I'm streaming OCRP, or just on Twitch, Twitch has been dropping streams randomly sometimes, and it breaks up the videos, or the, the VOD. So I can't really just export it out like I normally do. Where are you going before this guy gets over here to us? I can't really export it out, so I'm gonna download it, and then I'll cut it into another video like I did the last one. A lot of you guys enjoyed that anyway, so I think I'll do that. It was a good, uh, good long, it was like three hour patrol, so I'll probably just split it up into two episodes as there was uh, quite a bit going on with it. So those are the next couple of videos you can expect over the week. We'll do some more LSPDFR. Um, like I said, the big three that I'm focusing on this year is going to be America Truck Sim, Flight Sim. Uh, and of course, OCRP and LSPDFR, it'll be a mini series here and there, but that's the, uh, the idea, man. I played, uh, you know, the driving school, the truck world driving school, which is going to be the truck world, uh, Australia, the Australian trucks, you know, driving sim and couldn't believe how many people were complaining about it. It's free one and two, it's a playable demo of what we can expect. I liked what we saw. You know, they had the animation backwards for the pulling the air brakes. But to be honest with you, that's not a big deal. That's something they can just fix pretty easily. Uh, they also did fix the problem that I was running into with the manual transmission where I couldn't get up a hill uh, unless I was an automatic. And also those time constraints, that's not going to be part of the Australian game. You know what I mean? That's just uh, part of the truck school, which obviously needs tweaking. We know that's the case. I did put a mod in here for more realistic lights. It's the same one I've been running for years. You can find it on the Steam Workshop, no problem. Cool, we don't even have to get on 94. We're just gonna go down the little two lane highway. Yeah, that's a rain shower in front of us there. We're definitely gonna get rained on. That's something I love about Project Next Gen and the JBX graphic mods. It, it, it just like it, the way the skyboxes kind of fall into each other, you can always tell when it's gonna rain just because you'll start seeing those clouds be loaded into the game. Right. It's pretty awesome. And there's the rain just like that. I thought I had the auto setting on, but maybe not. Before it starts really coming down, I'll show you the truck out here in in action. It's a good looking truck, man. If you forgot what truck we're in, that was it right there. <laughs> like I said, this should be a pretty uh, easy going trip here. Not far at all. Getting stutters even out in the middle of nowhere, man. I'm not sure what could be loading other than the skyboxes. You know, I haven't had these kind of uh, major stutters since I installed Project Next Gen, so maybe it's time to go back to just JBX, you know? I think I'll experiment with that. Because I was hoping it was just going to be a Texas problem. Clearly that's not the case. Field and Richie. We're north on 16. Yeah, very short run up here to Sydney. Yeah, but at least we got some weather, you know? Got some rain. That's always fun. Oh, a way station, though. Oh, watch them pull us in for a way station right before we get to Sydney. And it's open, too. Well, I'm not getting any beeps. Oh no, we got the red. We got to turn in. 
All right. Yep. We're gonna we're gonna pull in here. Get ourselves. Oh, it's the other one. Yeah, you can't can't I'm enter that way. Now. It's the next one. Exit. Yep. It's the roundabout. Which makes sense. That's why I have my blinker on. Because you want to have your blinker on if you're turning the first exit. Finding a new route. Get ready to turn right. The big loves right there. That's cool. Right. Well, it's really starting to come down now, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Holy moly, dude. I guess this is where they want us. Over here on the left. It's one of those makeshift ones. The little trailer. Not even that. It's a truck. This is a shoddy one, man. Like, wow. Sixty eight thousand three twenty three total there. There you go. We're good to go. Well, we get to go through the roundabout again. How fun is that? The Marlboro man here. Go ahead, dude. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Second exit, you got it. RF Chamberlain. signal to get into this lane and exit we'll exit down. welcome to Sydney everybody not the same Sydney as Australia it's spelled differently I guess we're gonna be exiting on the right up here I'm not sure The old Caprice. Man, I almost bought one of those a long time ago. I was so close to buying it. Right whenever, uh, right around the time that I bought my Saturn. But the guy had sold it the next day I called. I was pretty sad about that one. I won't lie. A lot of traffic here in Sydney. I mean, granted, it's 4.35, so it's getting to that rush hour time. There's a truck route to the right there, but I guess we're not taking it. It's like the bypass all of downtown here. It's the Motel 6. And the America Inn, or America Inn by Wyndham, that's the one I believe we were at last time at the, when we drove the, the Hellcat. Oh, we have to get over. I did not know, sorry. Everybody's being cool about it though. And I gotta say, I was pretty kind of appalled with the amount of people that were hating on the uh, Hellcat mod and you know, all of that. Like, honestly, whoa, dude, that guy scared me. It's a free mod, one, but two, the fact that we even had a car sound in it at all was amazing. That's why I was like, this is amazing. We have this. It's almost every one of the car mods for America Truck Sim. You're going to get a default truck sound or something absolutely terrible. So everybody's like, oh, it's a it's a Viper engine. But I don't care. I, I just I don't care about that at all. And that doesn't didn't detract from the mod at all for me. So I thought it was cool to have a car mod that had an engine sound. But there's a lot of people that are ripping it apart. And I was like, man, people get so angry and want to rip apart everything, even free mods, you name it. Everything's garbage to everyone. It seems like sometimes I, I don't see it that way. I can't make that mod. I can't make a car. I like, I used to mod, uh, you know, ETS two back in the day. 
Let me know in the comments if you remember my first mod and what it was. I'll tell you when we make the next turn up here. Let's see if you can guess it. Put it in the comments. Keep right. And then go straight. My one and only mod I made go for, for it. All right, we're going to make it a right turn here. Here we get some outside view action. Why not? See those windshield wipers working. I think it stopped raining, didn't it? Well, maybe it didn't. Look how beautiful she is. No, it did not stop raining. It's still raining. Uh, so it was a Jake break. I made a Jake break mod for Euro Truck Sim back in the day, a, a sound mod. And uh, it was awesome. Not this one, but the next one, I think. A tractor That's supply. I feel like we're uh, riding with Dave here Turn at tractor left. supply. If we were CFI, it would make more sense. Yep, towards the receiving area. That's what we want. We're here. Are we backing in here on the left? You have arrived at your destination. Yes, we are. Okay, I see it over there. This is one you have to be careful with because you can't hit that curb. There's a curb they put there. To make it more difficult, of course. This will be a little more tricky to get into. Want to hit the curb? With our tires, they would be upset about that. Yeah, we got to alley dock this one in, man. There's not a lot of room here at all. About right here looks good. All right, we'll see how this goes. We're definitely have to do some goal on this one. Get out and look. But a little harder. Yeah, we should have cut it harder. Let's pull up a little bit. Right here. Cut it just a little harder. There we go. We're going to be out of room here on the right, but... That's better looking there. There's no room. Yeah, I can't even get this thing to go the direction I want it to. To go to the right more here. We're going to run out of room on our nose. Whew, this is a tight one, man. This is a tough one. Uh, running out of brakes. Yep. I know. It's just not easy to get this thing in here, man. There's no room next to this stupid gate. If I could just get the nose around here, we'd be better shape. All right, we're going to try that again. Boy, SCS lately have been giving us some tough spots to drop at, man. All right, let me just go ahead and we're going to give this thing some RPM and we're going to get our brakes back up. All right, the sound's gone away. Nope, just kidding. Uh, what I'm going to do is try to get my trailer more to the left here. Because I need to keep my tractor more left. We have to cut it harder, but we need more left side here. So, oh, all right. That's going to drive me nuts. So I'm going to keep keep revving it. All right, let's try this again. Bring this guy this way. This. We're just going to try to get this thing to turn a little bit better for us here. So like that. Just so I have enough room for the nose. You know what I mean? This is so tough.
It might work out though. Let's see. We have to make sure we don't hit that other trailer, you know what I mean? Oh, there's the brakes again. Dude. Like, I get it. We're out of brake. Almost. Yeah, this is a much better setup this time. Just enough to drive you crazy, that sound. All right, a little bit more. It's like a real trans automatic transmission and thing launches on you. All right, yep, they're gonna force us to do it now. So let me build the brakes up again. That should be good now. It's shut up finally, but man. Power it. Oh my dude, the amount of brakes it's eaten up alive. It's crazy. There we go. I don't even care anymore. I, I've been sitting here forever building these brakes up. So Oh well. Well we finally got this thing in its spot. I'm doing that. Oh, I have to move it over to the right more. the old snake method. All right, try to go easy on the brakes here. Just let it roll. Let it roll back. I'm gonna slam the dock door on this one, you watch. There we go, it's green. All right, come on, let's hit the, hit the dock. Oh, we did, sweet. That's it. And we're out of brakes again. Cool. That's all right. We did it. All right. Let's see what we got here. We're going to unload. And we got an excellent 38 miles, 2 hours, 59 minutes, 8.6 gallons consumed. There you go, folks. That's going to do it for this episode of America Truck Simulator. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. I'll see you guys next time. If you want to get that Covent Transport, uh, Covent Transport uh, livery, it is on the Steam Workshop. Just type in Covenant. Can't go wrong. It comes with the truck and the trailer. Later.